this is the 6th February 2019 build of the Havoc OS based on Android Pie and this is the official Havoc OS by the way on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today I'm going to show you how is the ROM holding up and what are the things which you may be disappointed with with this ROM. So first of all let's talk about the launcher over here. The stock launcher over here is not a quick step launcher not even the what do you call the trebuchet launcher. This is the pixel launcher by default we have over here. I do not know why like they changed it I guess but I'm not sure if it was there previously. Let me know in the comments what was the previous launcher because I keep forgetting stuff. So I think this was not there. On this build we have the pixel launcher by default and let me show you the settings so that you can see that we have only one launcher over here. Let's go into default tabs. Now here as you can see if I go to home app here I can only see the pixel launcher and that's it. So I know you can install like other launchers but the thing is I always try to review the ROMs like whatever it comes with preloaded. So that's how it is. Now this launcher has the Google Now cards to the left but you can't like swipe down to get the quick settings panel or the notification panel. So that's how it is. It sucks. And there is no double tap to sleep at all in this launcher like in the blank area. Let me show you the settings. This is all the settings you get for this launcher. Kinda sucks but yeah this is Havoc OS. This used to be the most customizable ROM. Well right now it does not even have a customizable launcher. I know I know it's quite disappointing for me too. Now let's talk about the good things over here in this ROM. We have the stock Mi A2's camera over here, so default Mi UI camera works just fine, even portrait mode and stuff does work. And we have the like camera to API, so you can install Pixel 3 cameras over here and it should be working fine. And as you can see, I have installed the Pixel 3 camera and it's just working fine. And no issues whatsoever regarding portrait mode and stuff. Pixel 3 camera does work super fine as this ROM does have camera to API but no camera to API toggle is present over here do keep that in mind. We have the Vaulty logo up top this is OnePlus kind of Vaulty logo. The stock wallpaper looks pretty cool in my opinion and what else we have the customizations like we used to have and nightlight and stuff of course do, we do have it as you can see it just works it just makes the screen yellowish you don't need to worry and screenshot and stuff is working fine from this toggle and what else as you can see this like header color over here i have changed it to the accent colors so it looks cool but sometimes i have noticed this header like becomes a little bit more boxy and it shows like kind of dark over here so that just happens automatically i don't know when and by doing what it happens but yeah now let me go into the settings. I did change these kind of things like these looks like the oxygen OS kind of but you can change these settings icons over here from the customization settings. Let me show you the system and by the way the about section is like in the settings over here like not inside system and it's over here in the second bottom list over here. As you can see the about phone is over here. Now let me go into system and show you some stuff. We have the system updates over here. You can check for updates of course from here. Let me go back and let's go to about now. And here we have the Android version. Android version says as 9 of course. Let me just go back. We have the February 5th 2019 security patch. So this is the latest security patch of this month of course. And the kernel version is Derp plus kernel. And inside Havoc OS, we have the Havoc OS logo up top and version shows as 2.2 and build date is 6th February 2019, official build it says. So that's how it is regarding the about section. Now let me show you the display settings quickly. Here we do not have much things. We have the auto brightness of course, you can set up the sleep timer and we have the tap to wake or double tap to wake functionality in this ROM. So that's pretty cool. Now let me go back and let me show you the sound settings because it does have the audio direct. So here as you can see it says Mi Sound Enhancer. Now let me just go into it. Here I am using this as the Mi Pistons 2. I don't know why the Youth Edition does not sound good to me anymore. So Mi Pistons 2 does work fine for my headphones. I have the 400 rupees Xiaomi headphones. So that just works fine with this preset. 
and if you like bass you might like these presets over here these are pretty bass heavy presets but if you're an audiophile this will definitely help you like a default eq always helps so let me just go back we have some other sound settings like charging sound charging vibration etc stuff you can disable them from here so that is all regarding sound settings and in terms of battery life i'm getting pretty great battery life over here as you can see i have been using the phone for almost what 43 minutes and i have used almost seven percent battery so that is pretty cool in my opinion you can get like one hour of battery life with each 10 percent battery so that's really cool and over here let me go into the havoc settings here as you can see we still have all those customizations like we used to and over here one cool thing that i like is inside gestures the edge gestures over here are pretty usable like i have been using these gestures like it's pretty usable as you can see it just went to home let me just go back it's pretty cool as you can see it's pretty fast like it does not suck it's almost like the miui gestures so in my opinion this does not like feel at all that it is a custom rom so these kind of things are really really great i have to say and what else we have all the like double tap to sleep customization like mostly but no double tap to sleep on the home screen again but you can double tap on the status bar to make the phone into sleep and we have the like brightness control over here now let me try the face unlock and show you so as you can see the trusted face inside smart lock is simply not there and i did flash the same g apps as i did with the resurrection remix rom the micro g apps i used like uh, with every rom but in the resurrection remix rom i did find it but over here i do not find the trusted face so that's how it is if you want face unlock i think you might need to go with stock g apps or something i don't know let me just go back so i can't really show you the face unlock now before showing the ram management and stuff let me tell you that google pay will be working super fine right away after you flash the rom you don't need to like disable the phone and sms app permission from the play services permissions so that's how it is now let me open a couple of apps and show you guys the app open up speeds the ram management etc stuff So as you can see it does do the android pie kind of animation and over here let me open all the apps from memory again so as you can see all the apps are in memory so no issues regarding memory management in this rom at all and i would say if you want like most convenient roms like if you want double tap to sleep on the home screen if you want everything to be working like on your palm i would still suggest you to go with either liquid remix rom or siberia os by rashid so that's like two one of the best roms that i have found for redmi note 5 pro and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this rom and what do you guys think about the launcher present over here like I do not know that if it's happening only with me that I only see the pixel launcher maybe I did something wrong but I don't know like there should have been the quick step launcher come on so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video the performance is great over here no issues regarding the performance I, I feel the performance of this ROM is still really really great you won't need to worry about performance but come on this is havoc os this is supposed to be one of the best custom roms out there for redmi note 5 pro doesn't have double tap to sleep on the home screen i'm disappointed that's how it is that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tiro from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now